video is going to be a product review on something that I just got from my Sephora order when I did my most recent haul. And it is the Diva Curl Frizz Free Volumizing Foam. So I showed that I had just bought this. And actually quite a few of y'all were like, oh, let me know how you feel about that. Can I have a review on that? So I decided I would oblige by all means. I liked, I love doing reviews. So if there's anything you ever want to see me review, I'll be happy to do it as long as I have it. Um, and obviously I have curly hair. Um, and just in case you don't know, my hair is actually not naturally curly, it is permed. So I don't feel like that would really make these products, these styling products, react differently. But just in case, they that's, there it is. Um, now, I always use hairspray in the roots to kind of give me some volume. Because, hello, I'm a southern woman. The bigger the hair, the closer to God. You can never have big enough hair. Um, and today I actually like it pretty good. So what I did is I just put... Hairspray in the roots, and then I kind of scrunch this throughout. So it's got like a foam dispenser. It's really like the Bath and Body Works foamy soap. You know what I'm talking about? That's pretty much how it comes out. Um, and it smells fine. It doesn't like smell anything crazy. I like the packaging fine. I do feel like um, this would travel well, which is always important because I'm actually about to go traveling. Where am I going? Oh, like next week I'm going to Atlanta uh, for a wedding. So I'll be traveling next week, but this is too big to do for a carry on, but still. Um, so yeah, I like this fine. However, it's $26. So, you know, I got it from Sephora and this thing is $26. And I've been using the um, Herbal Essences foam before that. And I think I might like that just as good. Um, so I do feel like my hair is relatively defined, which if you don't know, that's what I like. I like really defined separated curls. So like you can kind of see not each strand of hair, but like each curl and doesn't like look like one mess. I do feel like it helps with frizz, which is really what it claims to do. It claims to help with frizz and help with volume. I don't notice that it gives me a ton of extra volume, but maybe my volume expectations are just way too high. That's definitely possible because when I hear volume, I, I think like big like beauty pageant hair. And I mean, it doesn't like weigh my hair down. I can say that. I feel like it's still relatively springy. It doesn't feel like super weighed down, but it's just okay. You know what I mean? It doesn't like today. I really like it. Other days, I don't like the way it looks, which is how I feel about most things. But for $26, I want to love it every single day. You know what I mean? I don't want to have good days and bad days. And I feel like the Herbal Essences, which is like $5, is pretty much just as good, you know? And so, this is fine. Uh, nothing wrong with it. I will say this is alcohol-free, sulfate, parabens, and silicone-free. It doesn't say alcohol-free on the thing, but it says it... It says it online, because I was just reading, like, the Sephora thing. Yeah. Alcohol-free, lightweight, lemongrass, and sunflower oil. So, I mean, I'm sure that maybe the like products in here are better or ingredients that's fine but i just don't feel like it's that much better i also feel like my hair gets greasier um because i don't wash my hair very often i just wash it like maybe once or twice a week because you know you're not supposed to really wash it that often and whenever it feels greasy is when i wash it and this does seem to make my hair feel a little bit greasier too for whatever reason maybe it's because it is alcohol free so it's not drying out my curls that could definitely be it so all in all, I like it. It's fine. Nothing negative about it. If this was the same amount of the Herbal Essence, I would probably, I don't know. I, I would like to think I'd buy this over the Herbal Essence, but this is actually like six times or five times as much. So because it's so much more, I can't really say that it's worth that extra price. You know what I mean? But if you're into high-end skincare, if or not skincare, hair care. If you don't use anything with paraben, sulfate, or silicone, or alcohol, if you're like, no, that's just a no-go for me, this is good. It's really good. It's nice. Like I said, this is, I used it today with some hairspray, and I feel like it looks good. Um, it do, Also, it doesn't make your hair crunchy. Like, my hair feels like hair, which is good. Um, sometimes, you know, especially like mousses and stuff, or gel can really make your hair feel crunchy, and this does not at all. So yeah, that's how I feel about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please leave any questions, requests, suggestions, comments down below. Like I said, if you want to see me review something, let me know. I love making reviews. And yeah, with that, I'll just see you real soon. Bye.